fall is here, so the summer months are behind us, and you might want to embrace the new season with a change. Maybe you want a new look, a new style, or even a new hair trend. Hair extensions are, of course, all the rage, and they can add spice, seems like, to any look. Now, guys, listen up. I know you can't get hair extensions yourself, maybe, but they can be the perfect gift idea for a wife or even a girlfriend. Tina, thank you for being on the show with me. Well, thank you for having me. I guess that I shouldn't have said that guys can't get hair extensions because if they have longer hair, they can still get them, can't they? Oh, absolutely. I'm sure you've dealt with some clients. Tina, we're going to talk all about hair extensions, and the first thing I want to address is if hair extensions are safe for natural hair. Absolutely. When they're maintained properly at home, and um, I give you all the instructions for that when you come into my salon, they leave no damage on the hair whatsoever. I have a number of clients that have regretfully cut their hair off, mm -hmm. and then they wanted to grow their hair back out again. Right. So there's those tough in-between stages that I think everybody has had when mm -hmm. they've maybe cut their bangs too short or, right. or whatever, mm -hmm. and, or um, you know, just until you can tuck it behind your ears, sometimes it's aggravating. So you know, you can just add a little bit of length and to mm -hmm. gradually grow them out and then when you get to a stage where you feel you're comfortable with you can take the hair extensions out and your hair is in, in good condition so you can continue to let it grow mm -hmm. and there's also the baby fine hair clients that right. they are in it for life because they don't have very much density to their own hair mm -hmm. so we can attach those certain methods we have for those types of clients and we can put them up higher on the head and they can come out easily and be put in very easily. So it doesn't leave any stress on the hair with the removal of them. Mm -hmm. And that's usually the most, the thing that can harm the hair the most is proper, not taking them out properly mm -hmm. and maintaining them properly at home. Mm -hmm. So they always need to come to a hairstylist to have them removed. They can't do it on their own. That's when the damage would come is what you're saying. Yes. Mm -hmm. How long do they last, Tina? Well, there's a number of different methods that are available. We have anywhere from the clip-ins that can be removed daily, mm -hmm. and those are always nice because you can put them on a hanger and curl them and then pop them in your head. Mm -hmm. And then um, there's the ones that last one week. Mm -hmm. Those are done with a water-soluble glue, and that, those can be removed at home safely because the glue that's put in is, it breaks down with, mm -hmm. with shampoo. So um, the first time you wash your hair, they just, they just come right out. Mm -hmm. And then there's the methods that last one month. That's called the seamless method. And um, then there's another method that is the fusion method. Mm -hmm. The fusion method lasts three to four months. That's the most popular one. Mm -hmm. um, you can virtually do anything. You can swim, shower, uh, you know, nobody ever knows you have them in your head. Mm -hmm. They're totally undetectable. Mm -hmm. And um, then there's the cold fusion. And that would be done with um, little, they're little metal clamps that get squeezed in through the whole head. Uh, like 150 strands of hair would get put in. Wow. And um, those are for the people that don't like the heat method with the glue or um, the seamless method with uh, the, it, which is, uh, it's more like a tape. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing hair extensions at the salon for Tina? Well, let's see, I've been doing hair extensions for about 15 years now, mm -hmm. but we've been in this location for two years. Mm -hmm. um, I've had a number of clients on the island that I could uh, I, I, I probably shouldn't share their names on TV. <laughs> yeah, maybe, not, maybe not share their secrets, right? Yeah, yeah. But have you seen hair extensions? I mean, are they just as popular as when you first started doing them or even more popular? Um, I would say now it seems like everybody wants to claim that they uh, do hair extensions, but mm, it's very popular now. Mm -hmm. Everybody's wearing them. Mm -hmm. um, however, the hair it's very important that you have a experienced person put them in your hair mm -hmm. because there's a lot of um, there's a lot of people selling hair extensions right now that are not professional mm -hmm. on the market 
So mm -hmm. I do offer only the highest quality of hair, mm -hmm. and it's 100% uh, human hair. Mm -hmm. It's uh, with an organic bond, and I also make sure that it's put through the least amount of damage chemically before mm -hmm. it's put into your head. Mm -hmm. So for instance, um, blondes, there's a lot of different hair out there that's been processed mm -hmm. a lot. If it came from China, it was mm -hmm. probably black hair. And mm -hmm. if it's blonde now, you can imagine what it's been through. Right. So I try to make sure that I always order from the highest quality manufacturers mm -hmm. um, to ensure that you get the highest integrity of hair put into your head, mm -hmm. especially if you're going to have to wear it for four months. You don't want it to, um, it's not getting fed with any nutrients from your scalp. So you want to make sure that, you know, you take the best care of it possible at home, but also that you get the best possible hair put in your head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it sounds like you have that best hair at Spoil Me Rotten Salon. You can see more information about the salon on the bottom of the screen right now. Tina, thank you for being on the show this thank morning. Thank you so much for having me again. I'm going to take a quick break, but stay with me.